me. Week one kicks off from the Motor City as Jerry Gold makes his Detroit Lions debut. They'll need to put the pedal to the metal against the 49ers. Next on EA Sports. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the San Francisco 49ers. kick off this much anticipated 2021 season with me in the booth as we begin our sixth season together is of course Charles Davis and CD so much to watch for coming up what are you keeping an eye on well Brandon I'm ecstatic to be back with you of course and we've got a good one right here out of the gates I'm interested in seeing some of the changes in 2021 running backs and wide outs even linebackers wearing single digit numbers but even more than that I want to see the changes defenses have made because last year we averaged 49.6 points per game. That's the highest ever by three full points. And these defenses make an adjustment. As
quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf. He's going to walk this one deep left sideline. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. There's Golf. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. So, Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. Eight yards on the return, following a punt of 41. And the Niners are going offense. First and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense, ready for their second drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. And now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. To throw on second down. Johnson. He finds his man complete. That's long. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 44. Johnson. From the gun on third down. And under the Lions pressure, he's put down. Landy Gregory coming in to drop it for loss at eight. And it also brings up fourth. We always talked about sacks as a sign of defensive pressure. But the Lions also talked about how you affect the quarterback in the pocket. They had the fewest quarterback pressures in the entire league last year. So upgrading, that was a priority. And the front office appears to have gotten it done. There's a sack right there. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead. And a first and ten. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and ten. Off play action. Here's Golf. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Pack rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. A two-yard pickup brings up third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up four. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Here's Jack Fox now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And San Francisco gets set to go here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want to see 
some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Three yards on that last carry here, second and seven. Back to throw, Johnson. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. And it's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game had his team run the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Here's Johnson on first down. That is knocked away and incomplete with a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be worth the goal. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. Johnson now on first and ten. He's to the ten. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. That's a sight that 49 fans like. George Kittle catching a pass for a first down. Matt Riddle had played eight games in 2020, but he was a thousand-yard receiver in 2018, 2019. They're hoping he can regain his all-pro form this season. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll take this into the end zone for the San Francisco yeah, touchdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the 49ers had six to their lead. And a nice little start to the career for the rookie here, hitting the end zone in week one of his career. And that's a true welcome to the NFL moment, isn't it? The one that you actually like. A lot of times it's that big hit from a linebacker that says, all right, Rook, here <laughs> you are. But when you're able to put it in the end zone and feel that sense of accomplishment, that usually fuels you towards doing it many more times in your career. Gold with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. So, an early 10 0 lead for them now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Here's gone. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw once more on second and ten. Goff. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A shotgun snap for Goff. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And there's a leaping effort, but it's not to and incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven Here we go. Here we go. on return. Ready to set up shop again offensively. They're looking sharp out early to a 10 zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Throwing to 
start the drive. Johnson. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about him work his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now Johnson throwing on first down. And he's going to be sacked. They sack it back right at the midfield strike. Randy Gregory. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, not going anywhere, they got a lot of way to keep him up right so they can throw the football. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Swift. 
And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35 line. defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the ball and then recover and things over to their offense. And then the offense went down and got three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. And you'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle with the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man up right. As they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. Another completion there, and what, what a big moment in a young quarterback's life, that first NFL start. Charles, obviously they wanted to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in his first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just what they can do, it's just what they can teach him, right? How good of a relationship with the receivers, and of course, how good is he to learning, and of course, how good are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field. On third down, it's long. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just dropped there. And what I mean by that is they thought they were going to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Gonna give this time to the tailback. Oh, he's hit, he lost the football, put it on the carpet. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home, the next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Lines up and lets it go for Samuel. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. Touchdown. Debo Samuel, 67 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. 
saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 17-3. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Kiki QT now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was Let's solid, go, and he's Let's dropped go. at the 18. And Detroit getting set to go now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. Look for the big shot now. Because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Uh, on second down now. Swift. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and take it down. second time here today. He hit his first, now this from 43. Patterson's kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17 to 6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bones well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Now it's Wilson. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Debo. 
Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's he's a big time receiver in this league. So the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him. They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far. And, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 85 yards. And the Niners are looking good here. The season openers are able to extend their lead. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets it to the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 20. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Let's go, Let's go. Now Goff on first down. down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20 yard line an unfortunate sequence there trying to get points before intermission but now the interception and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead yeah they had an opportunity there and they weren't able to capitalize on it and that's something that could come back and hold them later they're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. All right, right this one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Will Harris. And the Lions are going to take over here at their own 22 yard line. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass. That's one you put in the trophy case. First career interception. That's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? Yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know. And that's what they'll grow okay. him on see how he grows from it. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. After the interception, here's Gold. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the gun, here's Gold. get there. Set, ready, set. Now San Francisco e going to call e their second timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. It's a return of four following a 42-yard run and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start out in Indy, Seattle in town for the season opener against Indianapolis. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. 
Next, we head down to Houston to check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. Marvin Jones, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. Christian Kirk, a touchdown reception. We continue on with a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And this has been a strange game to figure out. Negligible numbers in rushing. In fact, they're not even in double digits yet, but they've got a halftime lead. Meanwhile, for the Lions, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he returns this to the 22. You're ready, you're ready, you're ready. smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And that is incomplete. Uh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. On second down, Swift up past the 25 and the 26, a gain of five. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth scoring a conversion here on third down. Out to the flat for Swift. And he's going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a fresh start for DeAndre Swift and his teammates with this brand new coaching staff. And they believe he can be a three down back. They want to get him in space against linebackers. 46 catches his rookie year. They expect that number to get into the 60s. So the third and nine now. They'll come up on a first and ten. Now gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. To throw again on second down. Golf. Eluding the pressure right. He's got the first down and more inside the further. And Goff picks up the first down and then wisely slides to the ground to avoid the contact. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit at him. Zero. So from inside Niner territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first and 10, it's Swift. Fights through it. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. From the 27, Goff. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now it's gone. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Kiki QT. There to make the grab. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got range. Yeah, we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. Getting down and bounce. 
That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally. This will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point by Patterson. Up and good. And it'll make this now an 11 point deficit. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Let's go, baby. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've got to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, come on, let's get off with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's got this down to the 35. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's long. Finding room to the 20. Dances by him. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Open. They get Pro Bowl tackle Trent Williams for the infraction there. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll keep it on the ground. It's low. About four down to the 37. Right now. 
to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. Here comes the Lions punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Oh, what a move. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. Anything he personally is evaluating his game so far. He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2. And work for anything out of there. For trouble on the road and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver is able to drive the bus here again on this drive. Johnson's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield swipe at the 49. Five yards now. It's third and five. From the gun, Johnson. He finds his man complete. It's long. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Baby, let's go. Let's go. And passing yardage wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. First down, long. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground, long. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He was brought down at the 26. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here's Johnson on first down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and four. Now Whistle's here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. The false start hurts him there a bit, backs him up to second and nine. Operating from the gun, Johnson. The same target, same result, it's Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. I'd have to say they're feeling like they're in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. Over the middle, complete. That's long. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's 40 matter football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. 
And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the 80 yard line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. This has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he hauls it in, in the end zone, touchdown San Francisco. A great effort there, with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the 49ers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Now going for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. A 10-play drive that time. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The line of scrimmage to 15. It's first and 10. Here's gone. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. From the 24, Goff. Oh, now it's Strap. He loses the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a first and goal coming up here inside the 10 yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. George Kittle and the Niners ready for their next drive. And a bounce back here for him after a slow start. And sometimes that's how it goes with tight ends. Those catches in their games, they can go in waves at that position. And you get so locked into stopping them that you think, okay, hey, look at that. We've got it. We've held him down. <laughs> and the best ones, you really don't hold down for an entire game. They're going to get their catches. Your job is to keep them from being big-time catches and break you down totally. Line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. It's long. And they're going to stop him here short of goal line with the flag down. Well, this could set up a very interesting decision. The penalty yards marched off as they'll try again on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Long. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy at five at the six. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. In the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Ross Dwelly there to make the grab. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. What a difference a year makes so far, at least. These guys last place in their division a year ago. I'm looking like they're going to move to 1-0 right now. Not really unusual in the NFL, though, is it? Because we always talk about every year, 8-8 eight eight is kind of the baseline for everyone, plus or minus. And we've seen many teams go from worst to first. I know it's one week, but still, they're starting to think to themselves, we've got a chance this season. Goal for the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's a 
Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. On first down, it's gone. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Throwing again on second down. Goff. Man open left side. It's Williams. And the Lions took a four yard run. Williams have played four years with the Chargers and two more with the Raiders. Missed all 2020 with a short victory. Trying to get back in four. Grabs one there for first down. Goff on first down. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Well, this game was decided a while ago. That completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing again is gone. And this is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A shotgun snap for gone. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That'll be the one they've third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down the seven-yard line. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result. He's got his man. It's good for the Lions. Second and nine. 
They can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. On first down, it's long. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 20-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Hands it off out of the gun. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just Let's outside go. the 10 at the 11. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is the world of lies, and they haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. <laughs> Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And you have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They'll run on first down. It's long. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down six. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A great play there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the 49ers add on to their lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, they've got to be ecstatic with the way this season has started out. Golden to add the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that drive consumes nine plays all time. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waiting moments of this one. This defense was definitely worked to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect 
more passes like that downfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Throwing on third. Golf. He's going to let it fly. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. Pull it in. Let's go. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brings up second and 10 at the 20-yard line. One last throw here for Goff. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys are saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. get another road test next week as they head to Philly to take on the Eagles. Meanwhile for the line